you know what guys i always open my blinds in the morning and then i realize i'm like I have to shut them to get changed anyway. Anyway, official welcome to my daily vlog. How are you guys going? I feel like I haven't done like a daily vlog in the longest time. Today is Tuesday the 1st of September. I've got a lot of things I wanna get done for the start of the month. My room's an absolute pig style. So we're gonna clean all that and try and create a fresh start for the month. I'm gonna quickly get changed because I just feel like a slug. Three, two, one. All ready for the day. So this is just what I'm wearing for the day, even though I'm gonna be at home. I've honestly just felt shit the past couple days. So I really wanted to put on some clothes, put some earrings in. I might do a light face and makeup to actually feel semi-decent. I'm gonna go make myself some breakfast and start getting on with the day. I need my glasses. I'm secretly blind if you guys don't know, but yeah, let's go. Fuck what you thought I'd do without you. I'm so much better like you never met me Alright, so I've had my breakfast. You guys would have just seen that I just had like an egg omelette with spinach and a bit of cheese and some tomato. So I just had that. I don't have any coffee in the house. Like I need to add that to my grocery list when I go to the shops today. But I just had my body bloom. I don't know if I should like try and cut out coffee. Everyone always has mixed opinions I feel like on coffee. But like I love the warm feeling and uh, I just love coffee. I don't know. I'm always just a bit like it's one of those like expenses too. But it's totally worth it so right now i'm just gonna finish editing a video and then i'll definitely clean up my room because the way it's looking right now it's like overwhelming me so much and like it just makes you feel so crap so i'm gonna edit this video where i feel motivated clean my room and then i think i've got a bit of work i need to do for my mum so i might get all that done i've also got to go to the grocery store and cook dinner so i think it's really good that i've got a lot because i always feel like the days where i've got a lot to do i get a lot more done you know what i mean so that's so first I actually posted a Glow Up Diaries episode this morning. So I'm just going through and replying to a few of the comments that I've already got. Fuck what you thought I'd do without you. I'm so much better like you never met me. I'm doing anything I want to. Now I'm going to move on to my vlog. What I have been doing lately, like... <sighs> I've been trying to motivate myself as much as possible. So as soon as I realize that I shouldn't be watching this video or I shouldn't be doing that or I'm procrastinating, I'm like, snap, get out of it, get out of it. So I don't know if this will happen and I don't want to say it to jinx myself, but my goal this month is to basically try and post as much as possible. I want to try and post like even every single day if I could or every second day or just try and focus on my YouTube channel. Right now, I'm kind of in a little bit of a slum. Um, you guys, we'll see it in the next couple of videos but I've definitely dealt with a lot lately in the past week. I am realizing that this is a big mental journey that I'm going on and I am just taking time out and I'm just trying to make myself busy because even though we're in Sydney we're not really in isolation. Life isn't as it was. I used to have a job. I now don't really have one. I actually just work for my mum. She has a blind business so I do two days a week there and I do a little bit of work at home. So I just try and do like basically their social media stuff and I've been looking for jobs. Like I can tell you right now, I applied for about 10 or 11 jobs yesterday. And keep in mind, a lot of these jobs I am quite qualified for. I have about three and a half years laser experience where I've worked with so many different laser machines too. I'm kind of like in an awkward situation because people are applying for jobs, but people aren't contacting me. As much as like it kind of gets me down, I'm like, like, what's the problem? Like, why? And, you know, I would definitely think maybe if I wasn't qualified, that's why. But there's been, like, only one job that someone got back to me. And even then, she, so she just knew my old boss and I knew that it wasn't ever going to be a good relationship. So we chatted last week on the phone for, like, almost an hour. And then she said to me, come in on Monday for an interview. And then she texted me on the Saturday being like, sorry, um, you're not qualified for the position. I'm going to have to cancel your interview. And I'm like, okay, cool. That's fine. Like, 
at the end of the day I kind of was going for the interview for experience for me I've only done a couple beauty job interviews like I've probably done five and I actually like going to beauty places to see how their clinic runs and to see how the job would be my goal in a couple years is to own my own clinic so I always think oh it's really good to just go even though I'm the most nervous person ever I do think it's really good to just see how businesses run and I love that business side of like any industry basically so I've been struggling to find a job and it's not the fact that I'm not applying and it's not the fact that I'm not qualified because it is kind of hard to find really good laser therapists I have that experience but I don't have the experience of doing like waxing and stuff because I used to do that so maybe four years ago I used to have the skills and I used to work at like kind of a spa or a beautician place but now I've just been doing laser for three and a half years that that's kind of what I know now so I really don't want to go back into that side of it because I'm gonna to have to retrain myself and I just don't enjoy it as much as doing like skin treatments and laser getting a government um, payment at the moment so I'm just doing that I'm still doing two days a week with my mom and a few hours at home and I'm dedicating a lot of my time to YouTube and I'm hoping it will like you know make me happy because that's what I need something to look forward to at the moment so sorry that was a little bit of a ramble but I'm gonna start editing this video now and let's see how it goes I'm so much better like you never met me I'm doing anything I'm Hi guys, it is like quarter to two right now. All I've done pretty much this morning was edit a video. It's all good. It's all good to go. So I'm glad I got that over and done with. I need to go make myself lunch and I actually need to go to the grocery store. So I think we'll get to that right now. Just did like a little outfit change. I'm just wearing this jumper now because I hate going to the supermarket and you're cold. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but I always get so cold in the supermarkets. So I just popped this jumper on. Even though I'm still wearing a skirt, I still feel like I get cold up here. Yeah, I'm gonna go make my lunch and I'll go to the supermarket. <laughs> All right, so I just got back from Audi and my dad and my grandma both had maggots and the girl didn't have anything, so that's a plus. So I'm gonna make myself some lunch. I think I'm just gonna have some rice crackers, cheese, and tomato, basic, easy, quick. I'm going with you to 80, so when you see me talk to strangers. No, no, you let it get the best of you You let me slip right through your fingers And now his fingers running All right, this is my lunch I wish that I got a meat chicken Do you guys want to see how cute my kitten is? What are you doing in there? What are you doing? Is that your new home? Alright, we are going to make some pizzas for tonight, so I'm going to show you. I'm so much better like you never met me. I'm doing anything I want to. I'm going with you to 80, so when you see me talk to strangers. No, don't you let it get the best of you. You let me slip right through your fingers. And now his fingers running down beats you. These are my pizzas. So I just got these pizzas from Audi. I just get the base and I make them. So now I am just gonna relax for a couple minutes, watch maybe a few YouTube videos, and then we still have to clean my room. This day has just gotten away from me. I had so many intentions for today and I just, I don't even know what I can get done now. All right, it is finally room cleaning time. So I'm gonna pop you guys on a tripod and let's put all my clothes away. We just had like family dinner so we just had like a roasted chicken and my two brothers came over and I got to hang out with my little niece which I love so right now I just got to finish cleaning my desk do the rest of my bed and I'm thinking of editing another video like because I just unravel you know 
Alright, so I kind of gave my room a little bit more of a clean, like it's not 100% tidy, but it's like pretty organized. Oh, I need to put this dress away. So I've kind of just got my dirty clothes there, my nighty, and I actually want to change the sheets on this bed because this is long overdue. So I'm going to change the sheets and the doona. I got this new doona from Kmart, so I want to see how this looks on my bed. Um, I just like, I've got it all here. I'm so used to having a white one, but it just keeps getting dirty. Like I think I only washed this about maybe two weeks ago and it is disgusting and change it up this was only like 30 bucks so hopefully like this doona looks nice look how good this bed looks i'm actually obsessed with it i do think that the pillows are a bit over the top but i love it so this is what the bedspread looks like the pattern is quite full on so i rolled the edging around because it's kind of like reversible so i rolled it around so we could see pink and i would love to just like fix up the pillows i think that's where i need to like get some nicer pillows and i do have a green throw that i could pop there and i just want it to look more full but i'm actually like really liking it like i think this pattern suits my bed like i think that this looks really nice it was from Kmart. Maybe I'll try and link it down below for you guys. This is what it was called. It was so affordable. I think it was $30 maybe. The material is quite nice. It's not like too fake. It's like that cotton material. That's just how it's looking. I've got so much washing I need to do tomorrow now. God. All right, guys. I'm going to go have a shower, get changed in my pajamas, and I'll chat to you guys after. All right, guys. I am back. I had my shower. I did my skincare, kind of. I've honestly been like one of the most slackest person with skincare. I just like cleanse, tone, moisturizer, and I'm done. <laughs> but what I'm going to do is kind of just catch up on my YouTube, watch all the videos that I want to watch, and then I might edit another video. So I have put my pajamas on again today, the ones that I wore last night, and like I forgot that I ripped them and the rip is just getting bigger and bigger that's okay but I'll chat to you guys later oh my god guys just quickly like this is like such a comfortable doona like I'm one of those people where I don't like it too soft and then I don't like it like too rough like you know when you get that silky feeling I don't but this is like a good in-between like obviously it's not the best quality but like I actually like it like this I prefer like a cotton doona nothing beats coming into bed freshly showered with new sheets new doona and like just rugging up like this has been my highlight of the day like I am in my element I am loving this like and my room is like clean so I just already feel like less cluttered in my brain today has been a very productive day I feel like all right guys that is everything for this daily vlog if you guys did enjoy it please give it a big thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below if you already haven't what are you doing why not like why don't you want to see more videos from me if you have any video requests that you would like me to create leave them in the comments down below like any videos because i'm kind of like trying to pump out the content in september so now is the perfect time to let me know but i hope you have a lovely day wherever you are in the world and i'll catch you in my next one bye